everybody and welcome back to another episode how is everybody doing today i'm doing amazing hopefully you guys are doing fantastic thank you again for all the support on the last video man we, we hit 50k last video and you guys just shouted me with a bunch of love and i i couldn't even i couldn't even tell you anymore how thankful i am thank you so much you guys are the best i love your faces today we're gonna have some fun though we're gonna have some fun we're gonna kick this episode off by doing something that we should have done last episode and let's get a really a good enchantment on a on a pick i need fortune i'm gonna try it again i got it in my inventory a, a clean old iron pick i'm ready i got diamonds that need to be broken and i want to get them fortune so we're gonna do that hopefully we'll get something really really good also i want to show you something i've been working on i've been adding some more trees of the pink variety check that out <laughs> let's go so i added another one of these awesome cherry blossom trees and again thank you so much for all the common saying sausage put some of that little uh glass in that that pink glass it looks really really cool and yes it does <laughs> i added some over here as well that looks so awesome but we added a cherry blossom over here we also added another cherry blossom right there and i love it we're gonna scatter so many more around this area collecting right inside there in our animal dojo for uh some more so <laughs> we're doing pretty good and i'm loving this also look at this we added some leaves on the ground and that it's looking so pretty. Is there any other Japanese kind of uh, tree that we can add to this? Let me know uh, in the comment section down below. I want to add a couple more Japanese or Asian or, or, or Chinese inspired trees. Let me know the name of some more. If anything, I'll just Google it. But I want you guys to enlighten me. I want to have some more uh, of these really cool trees here. Custom trees all over the place. Uh, and I want to get rid of some of these jungle. We have too much jungle. I want to make it more customized in this area. And another thing. You notice this, right? You notice this empty old space today. We're going to be doing something where we've been also planning forever. Uh, we need better storage. Right here, we have a random storage uh, junk drawer section up in the top floor there. I want a proper storage. I'm going to do a really cool build right here for our storage. Asian inspired storage, baby. It's coming right here. Uh, but come with me really fast. We're going to go over here on this side. And, oh, I'm going to show you something else. Look at this. I actually changed this up. If you noticed before, this was all out of spruce i put the dark oak in there because if you notice or if you notice in the videos before it was blending in too much with the background like if i were to go over here if i were to come this way and take a little picture and just take a screenshot right here there was so much spruce right there combined with the spruce that was right behind there it was blending in too much so i think by putting that dark oak right there it pops more it's more contrast so i like it also went ahead and i did it up there as well but you know what that is uh gonna be very very cool if we scattered around here a little bit more tory gates in this style so you know what let's go in here real fast i'm gonna see if we can get a better pick than we did last time because if you notice this is the one we have right here i'm not gonna even look at it it is nasty it's ugly it's our it's our inaugural pick but it didn't do anything for our fortune needs so hopefully we're gonna put this down and we're gonna get some fortune oh efficiency we're gonna do it. I'm not gonna even bother looking. Here it comes. Five, four, three, two, one. Guess what? I know what this is. Deep down inside my soul, this is a four to three. Efficiency four. Unbreak it pick. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Fortune two. You know what? It's better than it was before. Uh, we had no fortune. I went fortune two. You know what? I'm just gonna wait. Let's just leave this here. You know what? I'll leave this here. When we get another 30, I'll come back and I'll see if we can maybe combine this with a Fortune 3 combo. <laughs> this is so close. We can get a pretty good amount of diamonds with that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But guess what? Another thing, I've been working on paths. So let me show you. Bubbles, what's up, girl? You want some fish? Bubbles doesn't like fish. Eat your fish, girl. Uh, but come with me. I've been working on some paths. So if you notice, there's a little extra path going this direction. And if you notice off this, there is another little section over here. Um, I've been working. We are planning out the future, baby. Oh, you see that? Come with me. The pandas are coming, baby. We're going to be doing a panda habitat very, very soon. I'm clearing out this area right here. It's not done yet. We still need to do a little more clearing. Are you for real? Stop playing down there. Um, <laughs> if you notice right here, we're going to clear most of this over here. The panda habitat is coming. It's coming very, very soon. It's coming back here. And all our friends are going to have a nice place to stay. Right over here. That's my friend right there. And look at this. I wanted to do uh, almost a, one of those big oriental-like bridges. And I'm thinking right here. It's, we're, it's just a planning stage. We'll probably do this together in an upcoming episode. But I wanted to do a big old bridge that goes up and back down. And over here, eventually, not yet, it's coming. What's up, Poe? The Poe's coming. Poe's Giant Temple Dojo Kung Fu Panda Imagined Lake Location. We're going to do a nice 
Japanese inspired castle up here on this rock. I can't wait to do it. Ew, ew, hey, hi, come over here. I need them some melons. Uh, but up here, we're gonna do a big old temple slash castle up here for Poe. And it's gonna be amazing. And we're gonna plan that out. I'm starting to chop down some trees also over here. So get ready, it's coming. It is coming, so <laughs> get ready. Uh, but I am super inspired. I got so many things lined up and planned. We got stuff up there. Also, over here, watch this. We got other paths planned on this direction. Eh? So this kind of curves. And then this goes this way, and I'm gonna plan something right here. But I want to ask you guys, what should we build right in this spot? I cleared it out. It's right behind the animal pen, which is right here. So we have this whole area right here. We can do something cool, something small, something amazing back here in this area. I need to know. What do you guys think? Uh, but also, check this path out. This actually goes this direction to the back where the panda habitat is gonna be. So right there, that's coming. So I'm planning, baby. I'm planning. Also up here, we can do some more stuff in this area. But oh. It's coming. Well, this place is expanding, and I can't wait to keep it going. But you know what? Really quick, let me get some materials ready, and let me plan out what we're going to do for the storage area. But you know what? Even before that, why don't we go pay Yoshi a visit and see how that man's doing? Oh, baby, let's go. Yoshi, what's up, man? Where you at? Where is this boy? Oh, really? Is it nighttime? Or you sleeping already? Yoshi, you gotta wake up, man. People gotta see your trades. This bed is occupied, I know, by a lazy Yoshi. You better wake up, man. I'ma kick Yoshi out of bed. Get out of bed, man. You you people need to see. Yoshi, don't get mad at me. You get out of bed, man. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, well, either way, look at this. He has a little diamond sash. Oh, we rich. Yoshi has a little diamond sash, if you notice right here. You know why? Because Yoshi is a trade master, a fish master, master of fish. Um, Yoshi, you look like you're levitating a little. Let me let me push him back. There you go. You're, you're a good boy. Um, let me make a daytime. Yoshi, let me. Can I borrow that bed real fast? I'm gonna borrow this bed. I'm gonna borrow your bed real fast, Yoshi. <laughs> oh baby, but check this out, Yoshi is a master. We have unlocked every single possible trade. The only thing, ooh, a puffer fish. I almost forgot about the puffer fish, but look at that. One tropical fish for one emerald. We have six raw salmon for an emerald, eight raw cod for an emerald, three coal for an emerald. This is just fantastic. Jungle boats for emeralds. Me and Yoshi, man, we rich. Check this out. You wanna see our, our, our stash? Yoshi, should I show him? I'ma show him. Bam. One, two, two stacks and five. Oh, baby, we're doing so good. So Yoshi and I, high five. I wish I could high five you in real life, man. Oh, it's the best, the best. Uh, but really quick, before we even get into the rest of the episode, I want to ask the question of the day. Something that I haven't asked in quite a while. Well, it, it, well, I haven't asked yet this season, but I've asked it a bunch of times last season. I want two amazing things from you guys. Number one. I want you to name my kingdom. We haven't named this kingdom yet, our Asian-inspired village. Name it. I need a good name, something amazing, something that we can go ahead and be proud of. On top of that, for all my storyboard people, all my story friends, all my writers out there, give me some lore for this area. Give me something cool, anything, something magical, something very, very cool, something that we can add to little books that we can scatter around in this area. For all my friends who were here last season, we did a lot of lore combined with like different areas from like my Witch's Kingdom, my my Elvish Kingdom, my main city, my uh, Sendahirin uh, area with all the elves, man. We, we have so much cool lore and I scattered them in books in different parts of the world and different uh, houses and buildings. So, and everybody's like walking around, almost like Skyrim style. You walk around and you get inside a building you see a book somewhere you're like oh let me pick that up and you actually read lore from you guys so i want to ask you guys for lore for this area i'm not gonna only pick maybe one or two if you guys go crazy and we have a bunch of really good stories i can just scatter that all the way around it doesn't have to be like the official lore of this area it could be like little books uh little pamphlets we can add and we can just scatter around and put them in like lecterns or we can put them in different um yeah, little uh, barrels or something hidden uh in this world so give me lore and give me a name for this awesome king them and next episode we're gonna go ahead and pick some i'm gonna read them out loud and we're gonna name our our king this is gonna be so cool but you know what <laughs> let me leave yoshi alone he's hard at work doing all kinds of stuff you're doing doing nothing uh and we're gonna go ahead and start building our storage area but let me get some materials too and yeah let's get this underway we need a good storage let's go bubbles you coming where's she at 
All right, check this out. This is what I got. This is what I got in mind. This is the outline. It's going to be all the storage we're going to need. I don't think we're going to need more than this storage here in this area. I think this is plenty, but uh, check this out. So um, it'll be, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 19 by 13. Outer border here. Little walkway we're going to have here. Uh, and then I'm thinking about bringing some dark oak, just like so. Let's let's see. Let's test this out. Uh, I'm winging all this. Hopefully it comes out okay. Uh, so I'm thinking every two. Uh, and I want to make this a little bit different from these that we've been doing since these are stone borders or stone um, foundations. I want to go with wood, just pure wood. And I want to do instead of uh, kind of like the opposite of what we've been doing uh, with like the stone border like this on the base uh, and then the wood tops like this. I want to go with the wood bottoms and a stone top kind of thing so this is kind of cool I, hopefully it comes out all right uh but i'm just testing out some uh, so, some different techniques here Get, staying in the same style but changing the technique a little bit just to see if we can come up with something different but similar at the same time so something like this and then a big step up right here i think would be pretty cool but then i want to go with a little bit of a contrasty color so, so if we have spruce on the inside i want to bring a little bit of the oak on this trim around here something like this oh i messed that one up i know i did uh, and then this goes like around like this. are you for real son for real i didn't even notice okay that's fine and then up here with keeping that spruce around here like so and then giving it almost like a little uh caps of of oak i think would be kind of cool uh do we have any on us uh, no but i can make a crafting bench my 9,000th bench let's go uh we're gonna need a lot inside anyway so that's fine so something like this maybe and then we can cap these off right here like so i think it would be pretty cool and then we can come in with some of the a spruce right here and just pop these down bum 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 straight up like straight in boom and we, we level this up um i'm not gonna go with cobble on these ends though i think i'm gonna go with the same logs that we have right here and take these up maybe one two three four five six seven i want like a tall roof um so i want to have it like a really nice tall roof but i don't think i want two floors um we'll see we'll see let's test this out but let me make it daytime real fast let me run this trim that we see here all the way around and see what it looks like do a little terraform action a little path work to get up here i think it'll be pretty cool let's see let's test this out all right here we go what do you guys think so far is that pretty cool i think it's coming out really awesome check that out so i went with this pattern of wall um i really would love to add windows but i know i can't really because we're gonna have this wall full of uh barrels and chests and stuff like that so i don't think we can have any windows here for now uh let's see how high we're gonna put in maybe we can sneak something in for some natural lighting but i don't know i think it's looking pretty good i think the main lighting is gonna be from this i'm gonna put a big door similar to what we did right there <laughs> i'm gonna do it over here and in the back i think we'll see uh, but so far it looks pretty good. So we got barrels here, composters here, the mushroom stem block, and we're going up like that with our dark oak and a little uh, bit of uh, of stair there. It looks pretty cool. I like that. And then the the details is gonna be on this on the on the roof. That's gonna be the best part. But let let's show you uh, really quick how we did this. So pretty much just a couple composters right here. We got a barrel in the center. Uh, this is coming up right over here uh, in the the middle thing thing. Where, where's my uh, uh, dark oak. There we go. Let's do some dark oak right here. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. This goes up to there. Uh, and then we're cross beaming right here. Uh, and then on this, we're going to go with some stairs. So the stairs are going to go facing downwards like so, right? Yep. This one's facing downwards like this. And then we have the mushroom stem going down like a so. And this is the last bit that I got left. So let's see. Hopefully we can get some more. I'm going to go over there into our little tree farm. If you notice, oh, back there. That's a tree farm. I'm going to see if we can plant uh, some more mushrooms back there. See if we can get that done. Uh, but there we go. I'm not sure what to do the floor as. Oh, maybe we can go with uh, maybe oak. Maybe oak will be pretty good. Or just we can keep on with the um, with this bad boy, with the spruce. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm thinking right here. Uh, we can make a nice, cool little archway look here. Let's see. Let's try to figure it out. Um, if anything, let's cross beam here real fast. Boom, 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 and boom. And then from here, let's see. Hmm, how would we do this? Because I don't want to make it too small, but not too big. Uh, if we go in like so, and just make it just a big old arch, 
It'll look like that, but that's not, I'm not feeling that. We can do this going around like so. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And then trap doors going around like this. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Oh, I like the way that looks like that. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I think that's pretty good for now. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let me repeat it over here. Let's see what it looks like on both sides. And then we can have a way in on both ends here. So, bam, 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 and bam. There we go. And then this will go like so. This will go like so. One here, one here. And then trap going all the way around like this. Hmm. That looks all right. I think that might be the winner right there. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay. Now, let me just lay a flooring down. And see what it will look like and then we'll start on the roof bits uh, and i got a good idea using stairs here making it a little bit different from what we've been doing all right so check this out so i've been seeing a lot of concept art and this is where i get inspiration from when i'm not sure of a build or anything and it's been a while since i've done asian style so i've been going off some really cool concept art on pinterest and this is style that we haven't done yet it's almost similar to this style of roof but on the bottom part it's like almost like a little undercarriage of wood before you get to like a stone base so i've been seeing a lot of that style style and to do this i'm thinking we're gonna have to do it like this let me show you so we're gonna give this thing like a little bit of a wood trim on the bottom part before we go full stone on the top part so let me show you what i mean so every other uh i think every two we're gonna go with the stair like this and then on top of these we're gonna go with slabs so we're gonna go slabs over here so we're gonna give it a little bit of a trim on the bottom part and this is really cool though if this works out <laughs> which hopefully it will um it we could use this style for other builds so then we're gonna have probably three different styles of um asian inspired stuff so we're gonna have the one we did here this style the one we're doing over here this style and kind of this little hybrid over here on this end and these like they're all a little bit different but similar and now this is the other style we can go with so this is going to be pretty cool so i'm thinking now the way we could do it with this we're going to have to do almost like it's like stairs it looks like it looks like almost like little little stairs here let's see if we can work this out so maybe something like ooh, let's see maybe like right on this end here maybe let's see let's just go with stairs going this way like so and it gives you almost like a little bit of uh of this look to it. it looks really really good we're gonna do this all the way till we get to the middle which is right here then let's do it on this side so we got high high scaffold can i oh can i jump from there oh baby no <laughs> scaffold is the best i'm stuck though help me okay we're fine so this goes like right here and this goes all the way down to center which would be here and then here i'm thinking maybe just like a slab right something like this let's take a step back scaffold go away oh i love that so much there we go so something like that see it has like this little wood trim and then even on top of all of this we can come in here with maybe some trap doors and put them underneath these but we'll, we'll work that out but then on top of this though let me get that scaffold back because i don't want to lose you um so let's go on top of this Come here, scaffold. We could do this. So watch this now. So up here, and I see also that there's some styles that kind of have almost like a like this starts low and then it goes up and out. So this is gonna start low right here. I'm I'm thinking all slabs going up. Uh, we'll see, or maybe like slab, slab, and then stairs. Uh, but let, let's see. Let, let me let me test this theory out here. So then this would be low, like probably right at this level. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like this. This is the center bit, and then from here, this would go higher, like at this level, almost like this is a one, two, three, four, five. So let's do it over here too. So one, two, three, four. Five? Did I go? Wait, did I do this right? Hold on. Let me get rid of you. So one, two, three, four, and then this goes here. Oh, yeah, 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 because then this is that extra bit we didn't do. So one, two, three, four, five, and then that extra bit. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, and this is... Oh, no, there's something wrong here. Oh, no, there's something wrong. Hold on. This was going to be... Oh, no, I think I, I was going to put a slab on that. Okay, I was going to put a slab on that. That's fine. Come this way. Let's put a slab over here. Okay. So something, hello, wrong kind of slab, excuse me. So something like this, I don't know, did I do this right? I, or, or is there something off here? Let me count. This is a one, two, three, four, center. One, two, three, oh yeah, I see it, I see it. So let's go, this is a two gapper, and then this is center. This is one, two, three, 
Oh, I see it. That goes here. Okay, counting with sausage. That's perfect. So one, two, three, four, five. Center, three, three. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, perfect. Then over here, I'm thinking this would be a little bit of a taller bit. So something like this will be a placeholder and take that up. This will be like a little placeholder and take that up. And then from here, since this is like the middle gapper, this will probably go out like so. This will probably go out like so. And then here, that'll be like a little pop out that goes out this direction. And then maybe like a little something like that. So let's let's test it out. Let's do it over here. Get rid of you. Oh, no, wrong thing. Get rid of you. Maybe take this back a little bit here. Next C. Okay, let's test this out. So then this is a placeholder and that'll be up. Placeholder that is up. Placeholder up. Placeholder up. And then let's see. That will be here. That'll be up and this will be up. Okay, let's see. Let's test this out. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we're just looking at the facade over here. So let's, let's just test it out here. Let's see. So something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Get out of here. Aesthetic grass. Uh, we missed one here though. Let me put that up there. So this little bit will be over there, but check that out. You like that? I think that's pretty cool. So this will go whoop, and it'll give you that little slope down and then gradually going up and then we'll do something similar to this roof or more like this roof. But I think all stone, something like that. Is that cool? Oh, I think we're nailing it. We're nailing this style right there. Okay, let me just pop this in over here just so I, I won't freak out. No, you freak out right over here. Ugh. There we go. Let's take a step back now and check that out. Yes, there. That's what I'm thinking about. That is really, really cool. I'm in love. I think we're nailing it. Okay, let me do this. Probably on the other side. <laughs> and let me also do this on this end. Okay, let me work on it. Let me go to sleep first. I'll come right back. Let's see if we can get some cool progression. I think this is going to be my favorite build of all of these. Oh, baby. All right, this is looking pretty glorious. I love this so much. Check this out. So we're going with this straight up and down on this end after the little curve we did. And everything is looking so cool. So this is like a little smaller version of the big one that we just did over here. This is just going to go straight up and down. But I think I might mix in a little bit of stone also, stone stairs. But look at that. There we go. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. <laughs> let's come over here. Uh, let's go. No. Um, silly. Silly thing. This way. There we go. Let's check it out. By, oh, it, it got there. There we go. It looks super simple for now, but I, I love it. I just really, really like it. I might, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to texture it. Um, but here we're going to do that little lift up and flare out kind of thing. Same thing we did over there. Up the fine zoom. There it is. We're going to do something similar to that over here. Maybe a little cleaner. Maybe not just a big curve at the end, but just straight out a little more right at the edge. But we're going to do it right now. But look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I really, really do like this a lot. I think it's just changing the game right now. This is going to look so nice. Um, so for this one, uh, this is going to be super simple because all we got to do here now is put full blocks going up like this. Watch this. So here, 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 there, and there. Until we get to the very top, which should be right there. Perfect. And then I'm going to do that every other section. So right here on this end, we're going to do another one here. So up, going up, gradual, until we get to the top. And now the simple part is once we do this, we have it ready to go so we can then do uh, our stairs in the middle. Super simple. So this just goes all the way to here on this end. That one goes all the way to there on that one. And then another little bit right here on this side. So this goes up right around here. Perfect. And then in the middle, we're just filling in the gaps with these bad boys. So this is just connecting one side to the next. And oh, I messed up. That's fine. Uh, every once in a while, I'm probably going to sneak in a little smooth stone like that just to show it like being weathered a little bit like that. Oh, that looks awesome. So something super simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this really fast. Just lifting this up, texture the other side a little bit, and then we'll see what kind of flare out we could do on the tippy tippy. Uh, and let's check this out. Give me a sec. All right, where well, it's officially the next day, the next morning right now. I've been hard at work all night long, and it's been looking really, really good. Me and Bubba's going off for a walk. She's pooping all over the place. It's fine. It's okay. But guess what? Also, I want to give a big old shout out to my friend Strusty uh, right here boop, for giving me an amazing suggestion. And um, I don't think this is exactly what he meant, but this is the inspiration I got from it either way. But check it out. We got some flying paper lanterns here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Got some campfires up there, some trapdoors, a couple banners. 
and it was like a little festival was happening right there. Me and Bubbles just went over here in this corner and, and was like, you know what? Let's release them right here on this end. So this is super awesome right there. Check that out with the God Rays. That's so cool, right? I love that. That is awesome. Check that out. Let me flip. Oh, that's so cool. So imagine, eventually, we're going to have a big old massive temple castle over there. And this will just be like raised up to there, adding a little bit of atmosphere to the area. And that's super cool. I just added a couple. But that's super cool. It's, uh, what does this signify again? I think it was like there's a festival or uh, happening or something like that. Bubbles, where's your, where's your lead? Did she take it off? You took it off. Where did it go? Whatever. That's fine. Enjoy your day. Uh, but also, sit, sit down right there. Uh, but also, really, really quick, I decided to do something to connect these two bits. There's the lead. Bubbles, I found it. Um, <laughs> it's so cool. What are you doing over there? Uh, but also, check this out. I want to do this. The more we add buildings that are really close together, we can add almost like these little... Uh, also, like, there's a, a festival or something happening right now. Uh, these are like... Uh, like it, it could be closed, too. It could be closed, too. Uh, but no, I think it's like almost like little balloons or little... Also, like other lantern version, but just not the ones that are floating in the sky. Maybe some here that are just hanging down. And that looks really, really cool. Look at that. Oh, man. Just some wool with some banners next to it. Oh, so cool. But yeah, come with me. Um, I have enough levels to... To do this one more time bubbles wish me luck kiss kiss the pick that's it that is definitely gonna be a fortune three pick right now let's go so we're gonna do it one more time i'm breaking fortune one mm, okay let's do it bam one two three <sighs> i guess we're not gonna have our fortune yet <laughs> that's fine but come with me we are done with the building uh it is so so cool where's the sun oh no let me you know what i should make a daytime let's just look at it now ready um i've been working really really hard on this also adding a little bit of detail around here uh on this side look at this we have like little walls here with uh some a uh, foliage and a little bit of bush and a little bit of flower but i think this is my favorite build in this area what do you guys think five four three two one Oh, baby. Moment of silence. Can I get a hashtag moment of silence? As the sun's going down. Oh, baby. Th I love it. I love it. What do you think? Look at the roof. Look at that. It has like a little, it's almost like, I, I mentioned it before. We're going to put a little bit of that regular stone combined with the with the stone brick. And it gives you that washed out look. We added those little details here to pop it out. Kind of like we did over here. See those little wood uh, full blocks? We did it over here. But more strategic. Help me. Everything's fine. Uh, and it's looking so cool as the sun's going down. Oh, baby. I also added these little walls again, little retainer walls. And I put a little bit of bush and lively atmosphere to it. Also did it over here on this side to add that little bit of detail as well. And a little bit over here also. So it's like almost like little patches of uh, of bush or, and, and plants and stuff. It's like mini flower boxes right here up against the side on this end. That's how it looks like. Look at that, baby, 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 baby. Oh, so cool. I'll see if I can do a little spin around cinematic thing at the end before we get out of here. But check that out. I love it. It's my favorite build. It's my favorite build of the era. It had to be a storage facility. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this. Hashtag tutorial is coming. It's so cool. But look at this right here. This path also right here on this end is perfect. Lined up right here. Let's go inside. And the interior, baby. Check this out. Another moment of silence. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hanging lights up there. I made it as uh, Asian inspired as I could to those lights, but they look pretty cool. Added some glowstone here to add a little bit more detail because up there it was looking a little dark. Uh, and chest on chest on chest action. I have no wood left. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to have to stock up real quick. Uh, but uh, I have nothing on these barrels yet. Nothing inside this uh, these chests yet. I might maybe even do a stream. Let me know if you guys are down. Do a stream of just resource gathering and labeling and putting stuff and organizing let me know hashtag organizing stream let me know if you guys want that i'm gonna have to because uh everything is a mess all over the place oh look at the paper lanterns at night oh man i gotta add some custom trees i'm gonna do some custom trees too um hey, hey oh man i need some custom trees now that we have that uh, okay now uh but check this out isn't this cool and then back here eventually the reason i left this open is because i want to do another drop down over here and eventually i'm going to maybe clear a little bit out back here and add more buildings so we can have a drop down to go to this area back here which maybe a little dock will be kind of cool right over there oh look it's so cool uh but yeah look how nice it looks at night all illuminated and all nice the ceiling those cross beams baby with those barrels a little bit of, of a wrap around with the trap doors right there 
I think it came out pretty cool. We gave it a little archway feel on the top as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. I really want to do a tutorial on this. I want you guys to build this too, man. This is so cool. This is a lot of fun, but I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. You guys have been amazing. This has been my favorite build of all time. One of my uh, top five. Top five for real. Uh, but I'm out of here for now. Let me know what you guys want to see next episode. I got a couple things in mind, but I'm really down to keep expanding, keep building, keep adding to this kingdom. Let me know. Again, lore. Give me the name of this kingdom. I'm going to have to put a sign somewhere with that name and you know what we can also do a little maybe some water stuff some stuff in the water i still need to build that statue that i promised for our friend brownie in that little tiny thing right there that little tiny uh uh island right there but i'm out i'm out for now thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next episode goodbye